Well, a good morning, good morning to all pro wrestling fans out there of all shapes and sizes from all around the world. Welcome to another pro wrestling talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I am your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. <clears throat> so, got another preview video for you. This time dedicated to Ice Ribbon. We got October Ice Ribbon Fest 2024 coming up in just about a week. And wanted to get on here and do a preview of the card. So, but before we get started, don't forget, check out Game Beauty. Link is in the description. If you want to check out some video game themed makeup and cosmetic products, and you plan on making a purchase, don't forget to use that promo code BLITZBALL underscore CHAMP, all in caps, for 10% off of your order. So definitely take advantage of that little discount. Okay. October Ice Ribbon Fest 2024. <clears throat> Excuse me. This will take place October 19th at Corquin Hall. October 19th at Corquin Hall. And we got a pretty good card. Um, not only that, we got each of the Ice Ribbon Championships will be defended. So it's good. Real good. But we got six total matches. Let's hop into the action. First up. All right, we got ourselves a tag team match. We got the team of Soy and Kirari Wakana. And they will be taking on the team of Maria Kuga and Miku Kanai. Or Kane. However, however you say her name. <coughs> Excuse me. Um I don't remember seeing much of Miku uh Kane or Kanai. Um I know Maria Kuga was in the Six Shrew tournament. And Sendai Girls, but got eliminated. Um, Kirari Wakana saw on the, the last Ice Ribbon show I watched. <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Man, so sorry. <coughs> Soy was also in the Six Shrew Tournament. Um, so yeah, a few familiar faces in this match. Okay. I'm going to go with Soy and Karari Wakana to pick up the victory. Yeah, let me just take take that wild guess. I really like what I've seen from Soy, so I think definitely I look to see her kind of be the dominant one in this match. But, you know, you never know. You never know who may break out in this match. But I'm going to say Soy and Karari Wakana will pick up the victory. <coughs> All right, let's go to our next match. And this one, this one's actually pretty loaded. Check this one out. All righty, we got some trios action for this second match. <clears throat> we got the team, the trio of Tsukina Umino, Mio Shirai, and Nane Furukawa. And they will be taking on the trio of Yuko Sakurai, Miki Fortune, and Arisa Shinose. <clears throat> I just recently heard about uh, Miki Fortune. I believe she's going to be attending a TJPW show um, coming up. I think she's going to be wrestling. Um, I've heard that name a couple of times. I've just never seen her in action. Um... <clears throat> But the others, very familiar with uh, Arisa Shinose, Yuko Sakurai from Colors, Nene Furukawa, Tsukina Umino, Mio Shirai, you know, part of Ice Ribbon. Um, I got to go with the first trio, Mio Shirai, Tsukina Umino, Nene Furukawa. I think they're going to uh, pick up the victory. Not to mention, I really love Nene Furukawa's uh, entrance theme. I, I like her theme. But yeah, 
Got to go with the first trio, but I think this will be a great match. I like the talent that's in this match. I think it will be really good. Really, really good. <clears throat> All right. Next up, let's go to our next match. <clears throat> All right. Check it out. All right. The first of our, of our title matches on the card. We got the uh, Triangle Ribbon Championship on the line. As the champion, Kiri will defend against Mifu Ashita and Tomato Kaji. Or Tomato Kaji. Okay. So, title defense here for Kiri. Uh, I do know Mifu Ashida. Don't know uh, Tomato Kaji. So this will be my first time uh, seeing Tomato Kaji. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Honestly, I'm going to say Kiri retains. I think she'll retain the championship. Now remember... Um, Whenever this title is on the line, the, the Triangle Ribbon Championship, if it ends in a time limit draw, don't forget. That means the title is vacated by default if the match ends in a time limit draw. So, just something to keep note of. But I think Curie will retain. I think she'll use, you know, some trickery, and I think she'll retain. So, I'm going to go Curie to win. <clears throat> All right. Let's go to match number four. Here we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this one ought to be really good. Check out match number four. All right, we got the got the big girls in action. Trios action. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. I'm looking forward to this. So, trio number one, we got Grizzly Fujitaki. Manami Katsu and Yappy, <clears throat> and they will be taking on Totoro Satsuki, Yuna Manase, and Yuzuki. Um, the only one in this match I'm not familiar with is Manami Katsu. Everybody else I'm pretty familiar with. Um, and of course Yuzuki was in the recent um, Six Shrew tournament. And Sendai Girls. Um, whoo. This, this ought to be a really, really big match. And I'm going to have to go with trio number two to pick up the victory. Although, it could go either way. It could honestly go either way. And I believe... Ooh, this match has a 30-minute time limit. Ooh. I hope they give these ladies plenty of time because I really want to see how this match goes. <clears throat> Who knows? This might end up being match of the card. Could be. You know, gotta, gotta show some love to the big girls, you know? And this is a great lineup. But yeah, I'm gonna say uh, Totoro Satsuki, Yuna Manase, and Yuzuki will pick up the victory. Besides, I still think Totoro's uh, um, Ice Cross Infinity Championship reign wasn't long enough. But that's just my thoughts on that. But, yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to go with uh, Totoro, Yuna, and Yuzuki to pick up the victory. Should be good, though. Should be really good. All right. Match number five. How about another championship match? Here we go. All right, we have the International Ribbon Tag Team Championships on the line as the champs of Makoto and Hamuko Hoshi will defend against Yumi Oka and Seran. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe, I believe Yumi Oka... I want to say it's from Pro Wrestling Wave, I think. 
Yeah, yeah, Pro Wrestling Wave. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Um, but yeah, um, hmm. It is an interesting combination of, of her and uh, Saron. But to be honest with you, I'm going to have to go with Makoto and Hamuko Hoshi to retain the, the tag titles. <clears throat> Should be a good match, though. But, yeah, I think Makoto and Hamuko Hoshi are, are on a roll right now, so... I don't think that'll end at this at this show. So I'm going to pick them to retain the titles. And the main event of October Ice Ribbon Fest 2024. Check it out. Oh, man. We got the Ice Cross Infinity Championship on the line as the champion. Yuri, still currently in her second reign, will defend against a former Triangle Ribbon champion and Yuki Mashiro. <clears throat> you know what? First off, I think this is going to be an awesome match. But you know what? You know what? I'm going to say Yuki Mashiro will pull off the victory and become the new Ice Cross Infinity Champion. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm going I'm to take that gamble. I'm going to take that gamble and say Yuki Mashiro is going to become the new Ice Cross Infinity Champion. Let's go. I'm, I'm down. Um, <clears throat> I really liked what I've seen from Yuki Mashiro ever since, you know, I first saw her. Not to mention, I believe this would also be, this would also be her first time winning this title. So yeah, she she would have a chance to become Ice Cross Infinity Champion for the first time in her career. So um But then again, then again, this is uh this is Yuri's second defense. That's the only thing, you know, with just Ice Ribbon with with you know some of their title defenses like they kind of really, really space out the title defenses. Because, I mean, Yuri won the title back in June. And then her first defense wasn't until, uh, <clears throat> wasn't until August. So, they do space out the title defenses quite a bit. Um... And then Yuri, in her first defense, didn't even have the title that long. Um, still got one defense out of it, but then lost it on the second defense. So I, you know what? Let me let me see what the trend is. Let me see what the trend. Cause, cause I mean, at least Totoro, Totoro got in uh, three defenses and then lost on the fourth defense. Uh, well, well, dang. So maybe Yuri, Yuri may probably still retain. Actually, yeah, she may probably retain. But like I said, I'm a, I'm gonna stick with that gamble. I'm gonna take that gamble and say Yuki Mashiro picks up the victory. And hey, there's my dog. Um, but yeah, I think she'll pick up the victory. But don't be surprised if. If Yuri retains, I mean, I think it's very possible that Yuri may may retain. <clears throat> but, but yeah, that is the card for October Fest or October Ice Ribbon 
Fest 2024. Um, good card. Yeah, maybe only six matches, but it's a good card. So, looking forward to it. Um, and like I said, that's October 19th at Corcoran Hall. And also, oh yeah, also, um, congratulations to Ibuki Hoshi, who just recently gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. So, she has arrived. <clears throat> um, but yeah, she has arrived. Her, her baby girl has been born. So congratulations to Ibuki Hoshi, um, who's a former uh, Ice Cross Infinity champion herself. Of course, remember, she vacated the title because she, she became pregnant. So, But yeah, um, so may God bless your beautiful daughter. And congratulations to you, um, Ibuki Hoshi. And... You know, hopefully, you know, things will continue to go well. Baby is healthy, you know, no issues. But, um, yeah, she's a mommy now. So, congratulations to her. And, yeah. And, like I said, I'm just really excited for Ice Ribbon because, you know, I will be attending the uh, Ice Ribbon Ribbon Mania 2024 show to close out the year 2024 so uh because i will be in japan for that and yeah um i should be front row for that show so i'm actually looking very forward to attending my first ice ribbon show live so i'm pretty hyped about that <clears throat> anyway that'll do it for this video uh don't forget to check out game beauty when you have a chance and uh, let me know your thoughts. What are your predictions for this card? Um, you see any titles changing? Let me know what you think. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. For another Pro Wrestling Talk, brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube, my name is Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed weekend, and I will see you all in the next video and or live stream. Peace out.